They're trying to take our freedoms away. We've heard that a lot from folks on the other side. They're, they're trying to take our freedoms away. It's, it's a strange freedom that regularly sends our children into lockdown. What kind of freedom is that? After Senator Raphael Warnock said that on the Senate floor today, at least three people were murdered by today's mass murderer at the Las Vegas campus of the University of Nevada. Another victim of the shooting is hospitalized tonight in stable condition. The mass murder ended when university police officers engaged in a shootout and killed the suspect, who law enforcement sources tell NBC News was a male in his 60s. Joining our discussion now is Democratic Senator Reverend Raphael Warnock of Georgia. Uh, Senator, it was exactly one year ago tonight that you won your election to the Senate, and here you are exactly one year later uh, trying to bring some sanity to the issue of guns on the Senate floor. Uh, you're correct, and here we are again. Lawrence, uh, discussing this. And unfortunately, this has become the tragic routine in the United States of America. In the year 2023, we are at day number 340. This is the 340th day of the year. We've seen some 630 mass shootings. Think about that. That's almost twice as many mass shootings as days in the year. And in nowhere else in the world is this true, at least not in a place that's not at war. And so we have to ask ourselves, why is this happening? And in spite of all of the subterfuge and the excuses that are being made by craven politicians financed by the gun lobby, the truth is our country is awash uh, in guns. I, I don't believe that Americans are are more morally depraved than people, other people around the world. I don't think that there's something about the American mind that is inordinately criminal and violent. And yet, we outpace everybody. This is an American problem, and it's, it's high time we get serious uh, about addressing uh, gun violence in our country. The glimmer of hope is that most Americans, ordinary people, want to do something about this on the right and the left, Republicans and Democrats. A Fox News poll uh, indicated that 87 percent of Americans want to see universal background checks, and yet we can't get any movement on that in Congress. It was blocked today, as I and others offered it. And uh, it's because the people's voices have been squeezed out of their democracy. Somebody else owns the democracy, I think, We've got to deal with this gun issue, but in a real sense, it's the democracy itself that's being held at gunpoint, and we've got to stand up, take the democracy back, get the people's voices heard so that they can get the kinds of things done which are basic to government, protecting families and children. Yeah, I, the few things like the, the gun issue demonstrate more clearly how American democracy has gotten roadblocked uh, on this issue. As you say, there are a majority in favor of the things that you're advocating. And in a democracy, that's usually all you need. That, that's correct. I mean, people talk about how divided our country is. But the problem really is, is that there is a widening chasm between what the people want, our differences notwithstanding, and what they're able to get from their government. And so if you've got nearly 90 percent agreement on something in America and you can't get movement on it, then you've got to ask yourself, well, who do the politicians work for? And so I'm very much focused on trying to get us to pass universal background checks to ban assault weapons. Um, but we've also got to deal with this democracy problem. We've got to deal with partisan and racial gerrymandering. We've got to deal with dark money in our politics uh, so that we can do better than tell our children that in the wake of mass shootings, the best we can do is to tell you to hide. Politicians need to stop hiding and pass gun safety laws. Senator Raphael Warnock, thank you very much for joining us on this program once again. We always deeply appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you.